again, everyone, and welcome to this update on CBSBoston.com. I'm Katie Brace. And I'm Ken McLeod. Here are some stories making news. MBTA police want to question this man in connection with an upskirting incident that happened at South Station. Police say he may have taken a secret video up a woman's skirt inside the Red Line lobby last Monday. That would have been August 7th. Anyone who recognizes him is asked to call police. The emergency room at Exeter Hospital in New Hampshire has reopened today. The hospital was evacuated after an unknown odor was detected yesterday. A huge triage area was set up outside on the grass. 19 staff members were treated for symptoms of dizziness and nausea. The cause of the odor has not yet been determined. Exeter Hospital, the operating room there, is expected to reopen on Monday. Governor Baker issues new rules curbing greenhouse gas emissions. Massachusetts is trying to cut emissions 25% by the end of this decade. The new rules regulate emissions from utilities, electric plants, and natural gas systems. Analysts say the regulations will cost consumers, but bills shouldn't go up by more than 2%. Well, our Saturday got started with some rain in many spots. Let's check in with Barry Burbank and find out where the weekend is now going. It's going to be on the better side, no question, Katie and Ken. It looks like we've got some muggy weather to go through tonight and into the first part of tomorrow morning. In fact, as the night goes along, it's going to get even muggier before the dry air takes over tomorrow. Watch the uh, change as we go through the night. The dew points start rising into the upper 60s, so a muggy night ahead. Then they start dropping tomorrow into the upper 50s, so it's going to be drying out. Along with that change comes the threat of thunderstorms, and some of them are really firing here in parts of New York State with some severe weather there, but I don't think it's going to be affecting us that much. We can see the radar showing some thunderstorms getting close to Vermont as of this recording, and they'll be moving closer to Boston, but they're all going to fall apart farther north and west of Boston, so I don't think we have to worry about any severe weather. So tonight's lows will be close to or just under 70, another uncomfortable night. Watch the timestamp. We'll have sunshine mixed with clouds during tomorrow, so we'll call it partly cloudy at times. It goes up to the low and middle 80s, and there'll be a brisk wind out of the west tomorrow. The air will be drying out, so the afternoon will be much less humid. And it looks like we'll dry off tomorrow night. Some of the suburbs by early on Monday <clears throat> would be down in the 50s, and we'll be up into the 70s going into the lower 80s on Monday, so it should be a nice day with low humidity. Much of the upcoming week looking pretty good till we get to the end of the week. Katie and Ken? All right, Barry, thanks. Like that, that wraps up this web update on CBSBoston.com. We thank you for watching. And we'll see you next time. Have a great day.